No, no, don't do that. Mr. Welcome doesn't like daylight. Breakfast at 4.30. Mr. Welcome, forget to wind his alarm clock. I'm on the night shift, Mr. Dillon. Nobody in my business makes a buck in daylight. I get up on the feature race at San Francisco. I'm a normal homework on you. You're a good writer. Lots of style, easy to read. Mm -hmm. Which finger do you use? I guess that's the way you guys work, you know? Cut up the customer, see what comes up. Hey, you want some coffee? Mm, no, thanks. I'm in a hurry. Mind if I tell you something? Nice young fellow like yourself. Never go out of your way to make an enemy. You get enough just moving around. You said you wanted to see me. You said it twice. As a matter of fact, I did. See, I need a good writer. Somebody with a little zinc. Hey, that sounds like you, doesn't it? Well, you see, I got these hotels here with the anti-aiders, too. Mm -hmm. Cash flow, they call it. Lots of bookkeeping. I pay my taxes, Mr. Dillon. Very careful about that. I pay my taxes. Mm -hmm. Are you going to let me talk? Or you want to tell me about things I know more about than you? <laughs> Sorry. I got carried away. I like you. You know that? Really? Yeah, I like you. You jump a little salty. But you don't come all unglued talking to the big shot grip. You understand that kind of talk, Mr. Dillon? Cheap, ain't it? The talk, I mean. You're alone in prison. I'm listening. Well, I got this publicity department. I mean, it's a public relationship. And they write these stories, only they come out soft. They block you. Now, if I had a guy that could write like you on it, Sam. How much does it pay? 500 a week. How many weeks? 10. I like you. 20 weeks. <whistles> that much? And I suppose I could even keep the job I've got now? Just toss something off for you every once in a while? Yeah? As long as I was nice about this and that, right? She's my secretary. She can hear. Well, how did you call her? I didn't see you make a move. What's it? I got a button on the floor. Come on, Mr. Dillon. Yes, you will. No, you won't. What is it? What? You know already. I'm going to keep right on digging up facts about Ellen Bowen. Is that why he called you to take notes? Could be. Well, then get the name right. Ellen Bowen. B-O-W-E-N. Bowen. Who's she? Who phoned you and said I was asking questions? TLC? Bell? I don't know them. You don't know them? You knew Ellen Bowen. Who said so? She did. What'd she say? She said, if anything happens to me, tell Ben. He'll know what to do. Would she say that too? Me? You're a liar. How do you know? Try again, kid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll level. There wasn't anything to connect you with him. Nothing at all. Except that I got your message a little too soon after I started digging. Hey, listen, Ben, give me a little background on her. Help identify her. She'll be buried and that's the end of it. You know, if she isn't identified and nobody claims the body, the police will have to keep looking. They're looking now, Ben. How'd she die? The bye-bye pills. Is that straight? Cross my heart. How long did you know her? A couple of years, maybe? What was she then? 21, 22 years old? Hmm? Ah, she must have really been something in those days. A fuzzy pink peach right off the tree, huh? Beautiful, young, full of juice. She had the prettiest hair and the whitest skin I ever saw. Just seeing her lying there on that moldy carpet all alone. Stone cold. Her wrist was cold when I touched it. Who drove her to the wall, Ben? Oh! He gets the idea. Now you know why I called her. A little high-class secretarial work. I used to have a bodyguard. One of those guys with his nose right next to his ear. You know, one of you there. Every place we went, people used to stare and look at him because he was so tough looking. He had no class at all. She threw him out. Will you believe it? She threw him out by herself. Like an audition, see? I think you better go now. I told you why it gets embarrassing for a fella. 
One more thing. This dame you're bleeding about. Any connection with me is only in your head right now. Be a good kid. Keep it there. Medicare will love you for it. You, huh? Couldn't wake me up and ask me about it, huh? No. You had to go and call them, and then you wake me up when it's too late. You had to do that. Suck me. Here. Hmm?